Hi, I'm Sophie and today I'll be painting a resin sculpted by OG Equine. I've got these two stunning fish horses and for today's video I'll be painting this Aurora. I'll also be painting Orion as well but that'll be for a separate video. I took some time to digitally sketch out the model in Clip Studio Paint to plan out different color concepts. I ended up taking some inspiration from this koi fish and horses like these. And here's what I came up with. A nice white coat with pink shading and blue and black scales. As always, I prime my model with my Tamiya Fine Surface Primer before starting my project. Then I take out my old paints and start painting the base color. I focus on the front half of the model before painting the tail and this is mostly so I have something to comfortably hold on to while I'm painting. Here I'm painting the base color of the mane with a soft yellow color before going back to the body. I then add a flesh tint color to his muscle and start blending it in with the base color. I also add the same colors to his neck, eyes, ears and fins. I then continue painting more of the body with that same light base color and then pink shading here and there. I focus the shading on the underside of the body, the fins and areas like under the legs and the knees. Here I'm using a mop brush or a makeup brush to quickly smooth out the paints. Here you can see how it looks so far. The shading is still too light so I continue adding color to the areas and making sure it's blended nicely. Now we're going to paint the scales and I start with this muted blue shade and try and block in the shapes of the patterns. I quickly realized how hard it was doing this with the brush and oils, so I quickly moved on to using my dotting tool. I also gave up on the shade of blue I was using and switched over to more of an ultramarine color. I kind of switched between different tools and brushes throughout the process because I couldn't find a tool that worked out the way I wanted for me. After taking a break from painting this model, I suddenly got the idea of using my watercolor pencils instead, dipped in water for better accuracy and control. This turned out to be the method that worked out best for me, so this is a tool I will use for the rest of the video. Once I'm done blocking out the blue scales, I switch to a black watercolor pencil and layer it on top. Then I take this little tool and I dip it in one of my pan pastels to lightly go over the scales to soften the black and blend the colors nicely together. This also helps give them more of a matte appearance. I dust off some of the pastels and move on to the other side of the model. The process is the exact same as before, minus the pain of using oil paints with different tools and brushes for the scales. Here I'm painting the blaze in the same style as I did for the scales. I try and clean up the back fin a bit as I got some of the watercolors on it, but also because I wanted to add a bit more pink shading to it as well. Then I paint the mane again because there are a few spots that I'd missed, as well as painting the tail. I'm adding a few details to the hooves as well before I wait a few days for the paints to dry. In the meantime, I'll work on the base. I start by grabbing some DAS modeling clay so I can make a temporary base for a model so I can stand while I paint the base. I don't really enjoy sculpting with this clay, but it's great for this purpose. It looks a bit goofy, but it works just fine for this. I then paint the base in a few layers of this grey colour. This time I'm using my golden fluid acrylics as I want the paint to dry fast. Once the base colour is dry, I go ahead and lightly dry brush over it with a lighter colour to make it look more like a rock. Then I have to decide which materials I want to use on the base. I look over my terrain and diorama supplies and find some different grass tufts, rocks, sand and some fake moss. I take some time to decide 
but I ended up deciding only, only a few of these with a small base. I take some of the moss-like material and add some magenta paint to it. My idea is to make it look like colorful coral and I also add some white to it to make it lighter. I place it in some paper towel and press out the excess paint and set it aside to dry while I paint some more moss, but in purple this time. While our coral is drying, I glue down some of the sand to the base in different areas. I cut out some tiny pieces of the corals and glue them onto the base as well. For last, I add some dark grass tufts to resemble seaweed or other underwater plants. Now it's time for the final details. We still have to add a bit more detail to the mane and tail, but first I focus on the fins. In my sketches, my fins also had some blue details to them. This was inspired by looking at the fins of different koi fish. Not every koi fish gets these, but some koi patterns get marks or streaks of color on their fins. Especially the dorsal fins, but also the pectoral fins sometimes. First I paint in some blue lines, and then I blend them in with the same colors as the rest of the fins as I want them to be a bit subtle. I work on all the different fins for the model for quite a while before working on the mane. Let's work on the mane and tail now. I go in and paint some areas with a similar color as the base, but in a slightly more pink shade. I also use a slightly darker shade too, for some variety. I also do the same for the tail. For last, I want to do some final details with hooves. I paint the sides and underside of the hooves with different shades. Then I check the model over to see if there's more I want to do. But I finally feel like she's done and ready to be signed and varnished. I love how she turned out and I feel like I was able to get pretty close to my idea of what I wanted to do with her. I hope you guys like her as well. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to see more painting videos like these. Let me know if you enjoyed it in the comments below and I'll hopefully do a video on Orion in the near future, but I might work on another project first. Follow me on Instagram for more model horse and briar content. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.